In today's video, I'm going to show you a quick way to make animated backgrounds in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. So let's jump right into it. Okay, now that we are in Fusion, let's go to our Effects tab and just add a Fusion composition. Now that we have our Fusion composition, let's just make it longer to something like this. It doesn't really matter. Okay, let's jump right into Fusion. Okay, now that we are in Fusion, all we need is a background. Okay. We have our background we can choose a solid color or we can choose a gradient it doesn't really matter let's go with the gradient okay because the Imangazi style is so popular let's recreate like Imangazi background to something like this and then on the this one we can go with some blue maybe even darker to something like this okay now that we have finished this we can go Click on the background and then shift space and type in grid. Now that we have our grid in, it should look something like this, but we don't need these major lines. So let's get rid of them. And then you can actually make however many you want rows and cells. It's up to you. We can leave it something like this and then just adjust our zoom a little bit like this. Then we can go to our blend and bring our blend down so it looks something like this. Next, what do we need? We need a transform node. So let's type in transform and here it is. Okay, so we want to animate this throughout the whole length of our fusion clip. We can actually do that really easy on the first frame. Let's just keyframe it, then go to the last frame and keyframe it again. And let's say we want to animate it going from up to down. We can actually do it pretty easy. Just adjust our Y offset to down to somewhere around here. And on the canvas edge, just click on wrap. So now we have something like this. It just animates down and it's going to animate infinitely. You can now also do something like this and animate it maybe. Let's go here and let's go to the last. Let's reset the transform center. And then again on the first one, keyframe it. Keyframe it on the last one again. And we can go to something like center. Go somewhere around here. And then we have the same effect again but in the right side but because it's a gradient it looks kind of funny so we can go here and just change it to solid color and let's make it to something like gray and then we have something like this it again it's animated but just in the right side you can do a lot of things with this actually we can add something like waviness so just type in waviness and add it now it maybe looks a bit too much but we can adjust that very easily let's get our strength up and then we can actually increase our speed so now it looks like it's waving as you can see but it's a bit creepy so we can adjust our scale maybe more up and we have something like this you can play with this however you want and you can create some amazing backgrounds with this 